In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to get peer cultures from isolated colonies on an isolation plate. An isolation plate is where we streak the petri plate so as to get single isolated colonies, such as this plate right here. Uh, we'll notice on the plate here that we have some single colonies of two different bacteria. Now in this case, the mixture of bacteria is Micrococcus luteus, producing the yellow water-insoluble pigment, and Escherichia coli, uh, which produces no pigment. And we have nice single colonies of both of those. Now let's review our definition of a pure culture. A pure culture is one in which all organisms are descendants of the same organism. And let's also review our definition of colony. A colony, such as this a Micrococcus luteus colony is a visible mass of microorganisms growing on an agar surface that came initially from one organism or one arrangement of that organism. So we don't currently have a pure culture here. We have two bacteria growing on the plate. But if we were to pick off a single colony of either the Micrococcus luteus or the E. coli and streak that on a new petri plate, then we would have a pure culture because everything growing on the new petri plate would come from one colony, and that colony came basically from one organism or arrangement of that organism. So the first thing we do, uh, once we're ready to start picking off our colony, we sterilize the inoculating loop by putting it in the back to incinerator for 10 seconds. and then we're ready to aseptically remove a colony. Now, uh, I'm gonna stick the loop in the auger to cool, since it just came out of the back to incinerator, and I'm gonna remove a little bit of a single colony of Micrococcus luteus, which we now have on the loop. Now we're ready to obtain the pure culture from the portion of the colony that we picked off on our inoculating loop. So we take a sterile plate of medium again, and we're gonna streak it for isolation like we learned in a previous video. So we're gonna take our bacteria that we picked off from the colony. We're gonna spread it over sector one by going back and forth and pulling it towards you until we've covered most of sector one. Then we're going to sterilize the inoculating loop by putting it in the back to incinerator for 10 seconds. Then we cool the loop by sticking it in the auger at the very edge. Now we're going to rotate the plate so the bacteria we put on area 1, instead of sitting at 12 o'clock, is sitting at 9 o'clock then we can spread some of the bacteria that we put on sector one over sector two. So we're gonna drag our loop through sector one a couple of times to pick up some bacteria. Then we're gonna spread that out over sector two. Then we're gonna sterilize the loop again. Stick it in the auger to cool. Rotate the plate so the bacteria that we just spread out on sector two is now sitting at nine o'clock. And then we're gonna drag our sterile loop through sector two a couple of times, pick up some bacteria, and finally spread those out over sector three. And then after we sterilize our inoculating loop, we're done. We can incubate the plate, and next time we should have a pure culture. Everything that grows on this plate, remember, came from a portion of one colony, and that one colony came from one bacterium or one arrangement of that bacterium. And we have then, by definition, a pure culture, one in which all organisms are descendants of the same organism.